Dearly beloved in Christ, greetings to you all in the name of the Titan God. Our church has set apart this Sunday as the day for the people with different skills. The theme of this Sunday is Christian approach to the differently able. This special day reminds us that we as a worshiping community have always need to recognize and affirm the full humanity and personhood of all individuals with mental, physical, developmental, neurological and psychological conditions or disabilities as full members of the family of God. The gospel portion for the meditation has been taken from the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 15 verses 29 to 31. This passage speaks about the breadth of Jesus' healing ministry, how he healed the multitudes. Here we see Jesus moving from region to region. The vast travel with limited resources made him tired, but still wherever he went, he was always available for the people, especially the sick and the differently abled. Jesus had compassion on men and women who were made in God's image, yet suffering with broken bodies. When we closely observe Jesus' healing ministry, it's clear that his healing has two dimensions. On the one side, we see the healing of the broken bodies or the suffering people, and on the other side, we see the transformation of the attitude of the non-disabled people towards the disabled one. So healing can be considered as all kinds of positive transformation a person or community may experience emotionally, spiritually, socially, physically and in all kinds of ways. Jesus had created an inclusive place for all people where all people can come irrespective of their limitations. I mean, he removes societal barriers in order to create accessible and accepting communities. By healing the disabled, remember not merely curing, by healing the disabled, Jesus brought them to the mainstream of society. Jesus created an inclusive community where no one was excluded on the basis of ability disability. So the task before us is not to develop some kind of sympathy towards the differently able people but to create a space where there should not be any separation or discrimination between the disabled and the non-disabled. So, the day for the people with different skills reminds us that the mission of the church is to make sure that existing walls of discrimination in society are removed. The good news of the gospel from this perspective is that it creates inclusive communities by challenging oppressive and dehumanizing systems and structures. It must be noted that Jesus did not make a distinction between social restoration and physical healing. Both always happen at any given time of healing. Let us urge the church and society to recognize and receive the gifts of persons with disabilities to enable them to be full participants in the community of faith. At the same time, we have to be sensitive to and advocate for programs of rehabilitation, services, employment, education, appropriate housing and transportation of the disabled people. Also, let us remember that it is our Christian responsibility to call on our faith communities to protect the civil rights of persons with all types and kinds of disabilities. Amen. Let us pray. God our Lord, Enable us to move forward for dismantling all the human-made discriminations in our society in order to form an inclusive community where all people have to find out their own space. Amen.